Hi, this is uh, my third little quick video for tutorials. What we're going to do is just clear up a, a little bit of confusion from my previous uh, AT, the basics, and we're going to talk about an advanced topic. And what we first need to clear up is the PCML. Um, let's load up with PCMLs, put the first missile into the launcher, grab a bunch of spares. Now, previously, I was using the PCML in free fire mode. I was firing it and aiming it in a direction. Uh, if you do this with the PCML, the missile goes in a straight line. That's what I was demonstrating. Um, but you can, uh, just like the other, uh, the Titan, you can track and lock with the PCML. I did not make that clear before. That is something you can do with the PCML. The difference between the Titan is if I aim here and then pull the sights down, the missile is not gonna, gonna strike. So if I aim there, it's gone off into space, it is not gonna hit those targets. It just goes in a straight line and detonates a, a kilometer away. So that's important. If we go back to the Titan, which I now have no ammunition for. Yeah, let's pick up some ammunition. Uh, there is an AT missile in it, and I'll pick up a couple of spares, and I'll change to the Titan. Now, if I fire this off into the sky and then pull it down, we might be able to hit one of those. It might be too quick, so I'll try that one actually over there. Yeah, it's only fact that it came down on the target. If you get this right on heavy, heavy, uh, heavy, heavy armor, you only need one strike. Uh, it's just like being in a raised position to hit a target. Um, and just like the Shen before, if there's a if there's a missile, you can track the target. Okay, and it's about tracking that we're going to talk. Tracking is an important thing. Now, previously we talked about uh, firing from cover. Uh, I always recommended not firing from behind something. What I mean to say is to fire indirect behind something. You should never fire a grenade launcher or an unguided rocket from behind um, cover without being able to clearly see what you're aiming at. But if I was here, and I'm told that there are many targets of opportunity, I could take a peek, yes there are targets, I could swap to the launcher, and yes, there's a target, and I can lock that target, and now it's locked, I can scoot behind this rock. And it still locks it, and I can just. That is one dead target from behind this rock. Just like the next one. While I'm moving, it won't lock. top-down attack. Those those are now dead. Okay, now if we just pop over to another little weapon store I've got, which I believe is just around this rock, yes, we can do the ultimate surprise attack. We can just grab a couple more T missiles. The first one goes into the tube, which slows you down. We'll grab two more. And we can actually move over here. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> we'll uh, move over here. And there are three targets. Let's assume those targets haven't seen us. We're now moving moving. It's now targeting. But I've moved too far. It's just exploded up in the sky. 
I moved the reticle too far, it lost visuality as it were. This this is a, a bug. Armour can see through the vehicles of the uh, target. It's not seeking out. There we go. Keep it inside. Fired over the top of the vehicle, over the top of the house. Interestingly, it's missed. It shouldn't have missed. So, beware of this. But, how about that? Firing around the side of the house worked. Firing over didn't. Beware, anyway. So that's something for the Titan lock-on and the PCML lock-on to be thought about. Okay, obviously the grenade launcher you could uh, lob it over here if you've got the right angle. So we'll just try that. Actually, this is a live test. I'm not um, doing anything strange here. Um, we'll just actually just show you a couple more shots. Um, with the missile launcher. Do, do, do. First one straight in. Load them up. Take a target. I'm beginning to wonder why this is booked. There we go. The lens must see this one. Okay. That vehicle couldn't see us, couldn't return fire, didn't really have much of a chance. Make sure I miss those rocks. Make sure I hit that target. It can't see me from here. It couldn't return fire. It's definitely dead. Okay. Let's just try now the Amlot. And we'll try some RPGs directly on board. And with this one, we need the rangefinder. So we know it's over there. Let's just run behind the house. So in action, we slide out so we can range find. One fifty. Okay, so the owl mat. And does the angle here, does the angle 150 clear the house? It clearly doesn't. How about the targets I placed over there somewhere? Can we see them from the house? Can we fire over the house to get them? There they are. These are just a hundred away. That isn't actually going to work, is it? What I want to do is lob over the house, if you know what I mean. Um, it's certainly plausible, it's certainly possible. Um, however, I've got a funny feeling. that we need an absolute range. So let's go to uh, this rock here and see what the inclination would be for a lob shot and one of those down there. So 
take a range 350 change to the almut Three fifty. There you go. We got a hit from behind the rock. We couldn't directly see that target. These are all little tricks we need to practice, practice, practice. But they do work. Okay. I actually missed that one. I can't remember what their range is. No, I got it. So there you go. Practice makes perfect. Uh, again, with the extra vehicles over there and this extra uh, cache of weapons, I will upload this mission now as an updated version with this upload. And I'll leave you there. That is locking, which I consider an advanced part of. Um, missile launches and RPG use. Um, this RPG definitely does not track anything.